Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Left, and I'm back here in Destiny, and today we are going to be talking about the Hereafter Exotic Sniper Rifle. Now, its exotic perk really isn't anything to shake a stick at, but it is a pretty great sniper rifle. And, as I talked about in my video yesterday, it does seem to have two exotic perks. The second one I was much more excited about. So, looking at it, it looks beautiful. Um, it's probably one of my favorite looking sniper rifles in the game. Uh, to go over its perks, uh, its first one, here the Hereafter Crouch increases scope zoom and makes it easier to aim under fire. So it basically gives you unflinching while zooming in on that scope. Smooth Ballistics takes away some of your impact, gives you range and stability. Linear Compensator takes away some of your impact and just gives you range. And then we've got Aggressive Ballistics, which gives you a little bit more impact um, I think as a high rate of fire sniper rifle, it has the highest impact possible. Then we've got Perfectionist. Magazine is refunded if all shots fired are precision kills. I haven't been able to test this perk much. Um, I think it's the four shots that you fired are just returned back to your magazine. And it's really great for mobbing. I've maybe pulled this off once, though. Uh, then we've got Snapshot. Aim this weapon incredibly fast. Injection Mold. You'll lose a little bit of range and reload, and, but you get a ton of stability. And then speed reload, reload this weapon quickly. Our last perk is blinding light. Precision kills with this weapon have a chance to cause a bright flash that can blind nearby enemies. Now, it doesn't happen very often, but as, when I was experimenting with it, it does seem to do a bit of damage as well. Um, not a lot, just like one damage over time. But it works much like the Titan's flashbang grenade or um, the hunt, a lot of the suppressing grenades. Now, I don't know if there's supposed to be one per magazine or uh, what the deal with that is. Because that was two. Alright, yeah, it does look like it's just the four shots that you fired. There's no time limit on it. It's just, can you hit the four shots relatively quickly? Or, can you hit the four shots from your magazine as precision kills? Now, again, that is really, really great for mobbing for um, and for PvP. If you are a fantastic sniper, then you are going to love, love this weapon because... I mean, you're basically going to have infinite ammo. It's basically going to be a better version of the icebreaker because it's not going to make you wait as long if your shots after your shots have been fired. This one, it's basically just going to be you hit four precision kills. Good job, you win. Um, but I I really like this weapon. I will say I do prefer the still piercer over. over it because um, I like the aesthetics of the steel piercer a little bit better and I like the um, the radar perk on it better but the steel piercer is not exotic it's just hunter hunter specific so there's that the hereafter is honestly probably one of my favorite weapons and I need to show you guys that scope zoom just real quick so we can zoom in on that building, and then when we scoop in, you can see it's a lot... It gets much closer. It's, um... It reminds me a lot of the Halo scope with the variable zoom. Um, oh, you can actually see that it... It zooms in so far that it actually puts the other patrol beacon in there. But, um... The original uh, Halo scope had a... What was it? 2, 5, and 10. 2, 5, and 10. Something like that. Uh, and this just reminds me of zooming in with that sniper and popping off some headshots. Um, but that's going to do it for me today, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've got the hereafter, how you're liking it. If you are a hunter or have a hunter, how do you think it compares to the Steel Piercer? I much prefer the Steel Piercer to 
the Hereafter just because, I don't know. I like the higher impact of the Still Piercer. Uh, you can see it's just a little bit more. And the way I've got mine spec'd out, it's got a little bit more stability and a much faster reload. And I think it's the reload that really gets me on it. But don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, I'm Left, and I'll see you guys back here inside of Destiny.